Scanning with the Artec Space Spider is a simple process, but there are some general tips and techniques in order to capture good data. Let's look at the basics. So I have the Space Spider right here, along with a couple objects just to show the general process. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is with the Artec Space Spider, it's very, very helpful to have some sort of turntable. Um, this is a, an inexpensive turntable that we had purchased. Uh, you can use pretty much anything. It's not an automated turntable, it's just a turntable that lets you set your object down and rotate around very easily while holding the Space Spider in position. So this is easier since the Space Spider has a, a um, fairly narrow field of view and a very, um, has a short working distance just because it's a very uh, high detailed scanner. Um, that it's easier to move smaller objects around like this and keep the proper distance than it would be to actually walk around the object while trying to keep that proper distance and have the scanner pointing in the correct direction. So that's something to keep in mind. Turntable is very helpful. Now let's start our scan preview by pressing up on the back of the scanner and let's look at a couple other techniques. Uh, so when I start my scan preview, that gives me access to a couple different things. One of the first things I want to look at is the distance meter. So if I'm looking at, I've got this pointed at my object, I'm looking at my distance meter here. You want to make sure that when you are scanning that most of this waveform that you're seeing is within these three center sections of the distance meter. And here, here's why. So if I am too far away, the object will cut off. The same goes for if I am too close. So you're going to get the best results when you are within those three center portions. Now, the next thing to keep in mind is, of course, if you're trying to watch the distance meter, that means you have to be looking at the screen. So when you're scanning, you don't want to be looking at the object and then kind of rotating around, kind of guessing at what the computer is seeing. Um, you have to, instead of looking at the object, which is a lot of people's natural tendency, you have to actually look at your computer screen and uh, see what the scanner is seeing in order for you to properly capture data um, and not lose tracking and you know, not go too close or too far. So very, very important tip is while you are scanning, you want to be watching the screen instead of your object. All right, so the other thing is you want to kind of keep your wrist loose. So a lot of people when they're scanning, they'll grab the scanner and they'll lock their elbow and their wrist and their arm right in position to kind of keep it as steady as possible. And then that makes it very difficult to move around. Um, so when you're scanning, even with the space spider, when you're scanning and moving your object around, you want to be able to make, uh, make different angles, scan from different angles while you are scanning. And if you're locked into position, your wrist is locked and your, your arm is locked, then you're not going to be able to do that. So keep your arm and your wrist loose so that you can point this at your object, watch your screen, and while you're moving around it, and I'll start a scan here, while you're moving around the object, that gives you access to be able to move up and down and further away, closer, I'm not doing very good there, but um, it just lets you have more flexibility and capture data like you are supposed to. So keep your wrist and your arm loose. Um, all right, so another tip here is while you're scanning, since you are watching your distance meter, you're watching the screen, um, you want to try to keep the object that you're trying to scan in the center of the field of view. Uh, the reason for that is, as I'm scanning, if I start to move, let's say I start to move off the left. So now I am no longer keeping the object in the field of view at all, and I've lost tracking. Now I can move back until it sees what I'm scanning again. And you'll notice that green box is kind of a, it's a green rectangle, looks a little skewed because you've got perspective there. Uh, but that is the field of view of the scanner. So you want to make sure that as you're scanning, you're keeping the majority of the object centered in that field of view. All right, 
So the next thing that you want to look at, so you've, you're watching your screen, you're keeping this in the field of view. Um, you also want to make sure that you are scanning with a very smooth motion. So as I am scanning here, um, I want to make sure that my hand is not moving in very quick, jerky motions like this. You'll start losing tracking, right? So I want to make sure that my hand isn't jerking around. When I'm moving, I'm moving in slow, um, smooth movements. When I'm turning my turntable, I'm not just whipping it around, although this is, is actually keeping tracking very well. It's kind of a bad example. Um, but if you move it too fast, you can lose tracking there like that. So you want to make sure that as you're moving, you want to move slowly and deliberately, smooth movements with the turntable and with the scanner. You don't want real jerky movements. All right, now, no matter what object you're scanning, and some surfaces are more difficult to scan than others, as I am scanning, data capture works the best when you are perpendicular to whatever surface you are trying to capture. Let's look at something a little more mechanical here. So if you notice, if I'm scanning straight down like this at more of an extreme angle, of course this is a really good surface, um, it may not capture some of this in here very well on the sidewalls. It's going to capture the sidewalls a lot better um, if I am perpendicular to that surface. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. That's why when you're scanning, you want to scan from lots of different angles. So when I'm scanning this sumo character, I want to make sure that I am scanning from lots of different angles in order to capture the entire object. Same thing with this little propeller. If I'm scanning, I want to scan from different angles. If you watch the center there, I actually capture more at a different angle here because it's able to see down inside of that center hole right there. So you want to scan from lots of different angles. And then finally, if you do lose tracking, we already talked about this a little bit, if you are scanning and you do end up, let's just go off the top here, the scanner loses tracking and it's beeping at you like you can hear right now. If I move back, you want to move back slowly. You don't want to just jerk back into position, but you move back slowly um, back onto the object and the scanner should pick back up where it lost tracking. If it does not, you can stop your scanning and then just start again. And then you should be able to realign those multiple scans as long as you've got enough overlap. So don't worry about it if you do lose tracking. And those are the basic tips and techniques where if you follow those, you should be able to get really good data with the Artex Space Spider in no time.